What is going on guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to part 28 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Super Mario Brothers. So in this tutorial, we're going to be creating a game over screen with a little button at the bottom to uh, click uh, to replay the game. Uh, and maybe at the end, if we got time, uh, we'll throw in a little bonus material. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, learning how to do this, go ahead and stick with me. Step one is to go ahead and create a new file in our screens directory. We're going to call this uh, game over screen. And we are going to make it extends, or actually, I'm sorry, implements uh, the screen interface from Bad Logic Gaming. Now, since we implemented the screen interface, we need to generate uh, all the over or implement all the methods. So let's just click OK. And this will give us all the methods we need to implement that screen interface. So we're going to implement most of our uh, game over screen using uh, the scene2d.ui, which we used for our HUD. And if you don't remember uh, how to do that, I would recommend going back and checking out those videos uh, beforehand. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and create a private uh, viewport called viewport, a private stage from or this is scene 2d stage called stage and then inside of our constructor we're going to bring in our main game object which you know it's our mario bros um game here so we need to have access to that so we can change screens later on uh so it'll be private game uh, game and then let's create our constructor um public game over screen that takes in a game and then we'll just say this dot game equals game. So let's go ahead and initialize our other two variables. So viewport equals new fit viewport. And it takes in three parameters, a width, a height, and a camera. So Mario Bros dot V width, Mario Bros dot V height, and a new orthographic camera. And then our stage is equals a new stage and it first takes in our viewport and then it takes in a uh, sprite batch now we need to typecast this to uh, mario bros and then we'll say game and then i guess we need one more set of brackets here so mario bros we can get our batch from there so let's create the font in which we're going to write the game over text and maybe the play again uh, text. So uh, we get that from label style from scene today and we'll just call this font equals new label style. And then it takes in two parameters, the bitmap font and then the color. Uh, so we're just going to say new uh, bitmap font and then the color will be color dot white. There we go. So let's now create some uh, new actors for our stage here. So table from table from bad logic, um, call this table equals new table. And then we're going to say table dot center, which will align the table uh, in the center of the screen. And then table dot uh, set fill parent to true, which will take up means the table will take up the entire stage. So now let's create a new game over label. We'll just say label um, and we'll say game over label and this will be equal to a new label. It takes in the text game over and then our font. And then what we can do is say uh, table dot add and then we'll add our game over label dot expand x which means it expands the whole length of the row so the last thing we need to add is stage dot add actor and give it our table and then inside the render method all we need is stage dot draw just kidding one other thing we have to add is the clear color to clear out the screen on every render and have a background color so we do that by gdx dot gl dot uh, GL clear color and we give it a red a blue or red green a blue and an alpha and so there we go then what we have to do is GDX dot GL uh, dot GL clear and it is this is actually clears the screen and that is GL 20 dot 
gl color buffer bit there we go so let's create a couple new methods inside of our mario class and the first one public uh, boolean is dead and this returns uh, return mario is dead and then also let's um public uh float uh get state timer and then we'll return the state timer so let's create a new method inside of our play screen uh public boolean is a uh, game over and we'll say if a player dot uh, current state equals dead state dot dead and player dot get state timer is greater than three seconds he's been dead at least three seconds uh, then return true otherwise we'll return false so right above it inside the render method after we've updated and drawn everything for the very last time we are going to check if a game over and then um, game dot set screen to a new game over screen and it takes in the game itself and then we need to dispose of all of our resources so now let's test it okay let's go get hit by goomba three seconds game over screen let's add a uh, play again button so inside of our game over screen um, we're going to create a new label so let's go ahead and copy this one paste it below we're going to call this one play again we're going to change the font or the the text rather to click to play again we are going to add a new row i've already wrote that out sorry about that so below the game over label we're going to create a new row so it's going to be on the next line and then we're going to i guess we'll just copy this paste it instead of the game over label it'll be the play again label but we want to pad it a little bit we don't want it right below uh, the game over label label so we'll say pad top with 10 pixels float and let's test it let's go hit a goomba we got a game over and a click to play again button so let's add something uh, that allows us to change back to the play screen uh, when we click on this so uh, let's just make this short and sweet and maybe uh, someday we'll come back and revisit this but inside the render method let's just check if uh, gdx.input dot just touched and then we'll say um, screen no game dot set screen to a new play screen and then we have to typecast it to mario bros um, since the play screen takes in a mario bros screen object so let's test this Oops, don't forget that also anytime we change our screen, remember to dispose of the one that you're getting rid of. So we'll call dispose here. And then down here on the dispose method, we'll say stage.dispose. Now we can test it. So let's go get hit by Goomba. Three seconds, pop up the game over screen, click to play, and we restarted a brand new game. So we totally did it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. There's lots more things we can add to the game over screen. And if you want to go ahead and take the time to do that, you surely can. But I think we got the basics of basically the transition between the play screen and the game over screen and vice versa. So you have the foundations to do it. So go ahead and execute it if you like. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. But most importantly, please share it of course I'm trying to grow this channel and you guys have been a big help in doing that uh, if you're feeling generous check out my patreon page the link is right over here I would give you two big thumbs up for that I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time